Welcome back guys and happy new year, no matter if you are still playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey or if you have just started playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you might just wonder what are the best legendary sets to play this game, or you just want to have my opinion on what are my preferred sets. However, before I answer that question I actually have to tell you that legendary sets are not the best sets in the game because Epic Armor has one additional engraving on every piece, which can be as much as 400 or 500% critical damage compared to one of those tiny small set bonuses. So Epic Gear in general is way stronger, but it also takes a bit of a grind to get the right pieces from the blacksmith. So since Legendary Gear already starts with 5 less engravings than Epic Gear, it would be bad to lose even more. So for our ranking we will basically count the additional number of bad perks. So the more bad perks the set gets, the worse it will be. While the first engraving can only ever be Warrior, Hunter or Assassin, we only take a look at the second one and check if it's a bad one or not. Then we count the number of bad perks and also factor in the set bonus to conclude the overall potential ranking for this set. These are the engravings we actually want in our build, like weapon damage of any type, crit chance, critical damage and even resistance engravings or ignore half damage. And the bad engravings are basically everything else. Crit damage and crit chance at low health, all the adrenaline perks, movement speed while crouching, intoxication duration, elemental build up, you don't want to have any of these. Because if you one shot your enemies anywhere, you don't have to wait for them to be poisoned. I've also collected all this data for you in a big spreadsheet for all the sets in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you can just check the description and download it. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey a lot of these legendary sets can actually be grouped in sets for Warrior, Hunter and Assassin, which basically have the same set bonus just for the other playstyle. The first group that all have 50% damage with your abilities are the base game sets, which means these are the three basic sets you can acquire throughout the main game. The war hero set for warrior players, the pirate set for assassin players and the Artemis set for hunter players. But only two of them are really good and the third one is really bad and a lot of people are not realizing that the Artemis set is actually a really bad set. The warrior set is not only looking nice, it is also the best free warrior set in the entire game. You cannot get any better set if you only want to play with legendary items, except if you want to go for DLC sets such as the renegade set or the Nemean lion set. When you acquired all of the pieces for the war hero set, this should be your go to set if you are a warrior player. And thanks to the big hunt bow, the war hero set will also single handedly be the best hunter set, because the big hunt bow will use your warrior damage when you shoot arrows. And this is also contributing to the fact that the Artemis set has so much bad engravings, it has nearly no crit chance or crit damage engravings at all. It is stacked full of other hunter stuff with distant target damage, with bow charging speed, with charge shot damage which are mostly useless. Even if you are not playing with a big hunt bow, the Artemis set would still be bad because you either have to add crit chance or crit damage, but you can't add both and that will result in an overall worse set. The pirate set is by far the best of the basic 3 sets. It only has one adrenaline engraving on the torso, which makes it a near perfect set. It may not be the best assassin set in the game, but the pirate set is definitely one of the top notch assassin sets. It definitely can't go wrong if you use the pirate set for your assassin playthrough, but for warrior and hunter players you should definitely use the war hero set in both cases. If you want to have something better than the base legendary sets, then you have to go for the better basic sets. These sets have a 100% crit damage bonus which will give you more damage than the original 50% damage for abilities. They also have less bad perks and the overall better potential. The Spartan Renegade set is significantly better than the War Hero set only having one bad perk instead of three bad perks, but it has a bias that it has a damage of spares engraving. The Dionysos set is an absolute perfect assassin set. It has not a single bad engraving. It is only fully stacked with crit shards and critical damage or even critical shards and critical damage at full health engraving. Due to the stronger set bonus, the Dionysos set is actually the strongest legendary assassin set in the entire game. The Swing set has a lot of the same problems as the Artemis set since it is basically useless to use any hunter damage when you can actually use the big bow and use your warrior damage and warrior sets for it. But the Swing set has less bad perks and it also has two unique items, so that alone makes it worse to purchase this set. That unlocks the belt of the swings which is a unique belt that has 20% crit chance on it and it also unlocks the unique arms of the swings which have a unique bow charging speed engraving. 
The next group are the crit chance sets, which are containing the absolute best set in the entire game, the Nemean Lion set. It has one bad perk on the torso, but that really doesn't matter, because it adds all the crit chance and crit damage stuff. For any Vora Hunter set build, this is the best set to go. And on top of that, the set bonus acts basically as two engravings. You get 10% crit chance at full health and also 50% critical damage at full health. And even the engraving that is unlocked by the Nemean Lion set is often used even in epic builds to get the last 5% crit chance for that build. But a lot of the other sets in this group are absolute rubbish. You actually never want low health bonuses, because low health bonuses are only applied when your health bar is red, or even when you have less than 6% health when you use the Fox engraving. So literally, just the moment before you die, you get the bonus and then you die anyway. And any set that gives you only 20% crit chance when you use specific abilities is basically rubbish, because you could simply engrave 20% crit chance for everything instead of this set bonus. The incredible amount of bad perks on these sets also speaks for itself. The cooldown sets are a real treasure, because they contain one of the finest sets in the game. The Ezio set has only one downside, which is its set bonus, which only gives you a cooldown bonus for a hero strike, instead of an additional damage boost. But since Hero Strike is one of the most used assassin ability and you will likely use it often, that really doesn't hurt much. The Ezio set is also for free and available right at the start of the game, so this set is a real alternative and parts of it are also used in the early game builds. The North Sun Traveler set on the other end is a double-edged sword. It is actually the only legendary set that has 4 engraving slots, but all of the additional engravings are either bad or they only give you 5% all damage. So all these additional engravings only give you all damage or are bad anyway. However, it unlocks a crazy Aris Madness cooldown reduction, but for all of that you don't need the set. You can just use the set bonus and put it on a different set. It will still give you the same bonus on any other set without any reduction. One of my favorite categories are tank builds, however there is only one legendary set that is really shining in this category, which is the Greek hero set, because it adds a 30% all resistance bonus that allows you to eliminate two damage types out of melee resistance, range resistance and elemental resistance. And together with the additional elemental reduction from the Heracles set and the Myrmidon set, you can actually reach 100% in all three. So you really don't have to go for any other set. You can just use the Greek hero set, put in the engravings from the other sets and make this one your favorite tank build. So the Greek hero set will totally allow you to stay at full health at any time and all the other sets on the lower part of this table will only refill your health when you already took damage. And that is way inferior because you will no longer have all the potential crit damage bonuses. So taking no damage is always better than refilling your health. The two base game elemental sets are rather weak examples of legendary sets. Of course they have a lot of fire poison damage, but they also have useless engravings such as build up and the duration increases. When you have a build that one shots all your enemies in a single hit anyway, then you don't need any duration increases, you don't need any build up, because your enemies will never start burning, they will just instantly die. My recommendation for using elemental damage is actually just equip a burning sword, a poison dagger or whatever you want and just use it to increase your impact damage, because to actually witness a damage over time effect you have to make your build so weak that your enemy survives your attack. That simply defies the purpose of making good builds. The adrenaline sets are a really bad category, they have a ton of bad engravings and they have a really bad set bonus. You cannot get infinite adrenaline with one of these sets anyway, so the set bonus is basically pointless. The only reason where this might actually be a consideration is with the increased adrenaline consumption from the headshot engraving, which could basically be countered by these set bonuses. Now we are getting into the territory of situational or really bad bonuses and sets which I would never recommend to use at all. The Helios set gives you 200% damage while on fire, but how often are you actually on fire? So this is not really happening often and the problem with this, even at 100% elemental resistance, you will occasionally make non-critical hits. So this is kind of buggy which prevents it from getting a better ranking from me. I don't think we have to discuss the other bonuses shown here, of course 100% damage while midair is entirely useless, 100% damage while hidden might only benefit the ones who like to hide in bushes every time, adrenaline from parry is the worst way to get adrenaline in this game and has very little results, and even having an additional 70% all resistances will only ever work for 3 seconds. 
The last category contains the really bad sets. Almost all of their perks are really bad and prevents them from using it in any reasonable way. The demigod set has 5 times all damage on its gear, which basically means you get 50% warrior damage and waste 5 slots for it. You could get 500% critical damage instead, just think about how bad 50% is. And I also put the pilgrim set here, because shadow of nyx is basically an ability which you don't need. When you have 6 cents active in your build, you have 8 seconds before an enemy actually attacks you. So you have 8 seconds in which you can do anything you want with your enemy, so you will never be detected anyway. And the set actually gives you a lot of adrenaline engravings which are rubbish and even more so if the set doesn't even need that adrenaline. So Shadow of Nukes is basically only for those who can't play stealth, who don't know about viewing fields, who get detected a lot without using it. Besides that, you don't need the Pilgrim set to use this ability. So let's summarize, the best assassin sets are the Dionysos set, the Aesir set and the Pirate set. And the best warrior and hunter set all in one is the Nemean Lion set. And if you want to make a tank build, then you can go for the Greek Hero set. Definitely avoid buying all the other crap stuff. Most of the basic sets are more than enough to beat the shit out of this game and have a lot of fun with it. I hope you really liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.